Now we've looked at buttons and we've looked at images. Um, now we're going to look at uh, the spacer. So the spacer is, it doesn't actually, it's, it's got no content to it as such. Uh, it is moving, it, it is enabling you to have a gap in a website where nothing else resides. So if we just throw in some text and um, we put in a divider here. So the divider is um, effectively a type of spacer in that it is um, putting a horizontal space between you and other things. Uh, and it is a line and the line can be of any particular size. So it can either be 100% across the width of the page or 70%, 80%, 90%, 50%. So you can change that around and uh, it's to give you an element of, um, just to, to give you a bit more stylized approach. But you can you can change the space between these things by changing the spacer to above and below the line. And then spacer is the same but without the line so the spacer is just a gap so the spacer can be moved in terms of size it can also be moved around the page and you can delete it just by hitting the delete bar like that and it, you'll lose the gap again okay so spacers can be used both to the side either side or underneath or above. So you can put a space, if you put it to one side like so, that's an image we've put in there. That's an image uh, box, but you could also put spaces around the image to move things around. So let's have a look at that. We've looked at images before and how we change the size. So now we've got a title, we've got a, a bar under, underneath the title change the, sh the size of the image and we're going to drag in a video which we're going to talk about later so, so put a, a YouTube box in there so that we can put a YouTube video in there so this might be some sort of um, talking about um, might be a welcome video for example into your into your um, website so you might have your logo and then you might have some blurb and then underneath it you might have a welcome video you would record the welcome video put it on YouTube and then embed it maybe an unlisted video if you wanted so it's not public visible to everybody in the public but not visible on YouTube we've got a divider in which we can have at 100% either across the whole page or if it's in a column just across 100% of the column we can then move into that column the video and keep the logo to the left hand side if we want to. So you can play around with this until you think it looks right. And then move the column to get that right size. And there we are. And that is spaces.